So now we're going to do some problems um, solving for future value at a simple interest rate. I just copied the formula up at the top of the paper here so it was easier to see. So I don't have to keep flipping the paper. The principal P is borrowed at a simple interest rate R for a period of time T. Find the loan's future value A or the total amount due at time t. So it tells us what p is, it tells us what r is, and it tells us what t is. Now t is a little bit tricky. Remember time needs to be in years. So nine months is not an okay way of writing time. So t is equal to nine months, but we need our t to be in years. So the first thing I need to do is convert nine months into years. So nine months, if I divide that by 12 months, I can reduce the months and the months divide out and that will get me, let's see, 9 divided by 12, that's reduced to 3 fourths of a year. Okay, so we're going to use t as 3 fourths. When I plug on my values, I have a equals p for principal or present value, which is going to be the $9,000 borrowed at simple interest, times parentheses 1 plus my rate, which in this case is at 0.065 times the time, which in this case is 3 fourths, because it's three, 9 months is 3 fourths of a year. So when I use my calculator, I'm going to have 9,000, and then I'm going to use the parentheses. If you have one, if you don't, then you'll have to do the inside first and then take that answer and multiply it by 1,000. But my calculator has a parentheses, so I'm going to use it. 1 plus 0 0.065 times 3 fourths. Now some calculators might have a fraction button like 3, and this button is n over d. Um, some calculators might have A over B or A slash B over C. Um, so you're welcome to use that and then close your parentheses and hit enter. This gets me 9,438 and 75 cents. So that is going to be the future value of everything that I'm going to owe at the end of the time. This is the $9,000 that I borrowed plus all the interest. Now if you don't have a fraction button like that N over D button, the way you type it in is 9000 parentheses 1 plus 0 0.065 times 3 divide by 4. Because times 3 that gets you the numerator, divide by 4 that gets you the denominator, and as long as you have a calculator that you can see all of the values in, you can go ahead and hit enter and it's the same thing. Now if you have a four function calculator you'll probably want to start at three fourths first which so divide three divide by four and then hit enter. Then you'll have to multiply by 0 0.065 and then hit enter. So we're basically doing it uh, manually as if you were going to do PEMDAS by yourself. Then we're going to hit plus one enter and now that's all of the inside then multiply by 9,000 and hit enter. And notice that it's the exact same answer. So if you don't have a calculator that you can see the screen, you're going to have to type it in that way. Go do the 3 fourths, then multiply by the rate, then add the 1, hit enter every single time, and then multiply by the 9,000. One more example here, a loan of $2,040 has been made. Uh, at 7%, 7.5% interest for four months using simple interest. So this time I'm going to have to figure out what my A, my P, my R, and my T are using the words. So a loan has been made. So I'm starting with 2,040, which is my P. It's my present value uh, at a rate of 7.5%. So that's 0 0.075 for my rate for four months. Hmm. Four months out of 12 months, if I reduce that, that gets one-third of a year. So my t is going to be one-third. Then it says find the future value, so that's the thing I don't know. So I'm going to plug this in, a equals 2040 
parentheses 1 plus 0 0.075 times one-third of a year. Now I showed you how to all the different ways you could type it in the calculator, especially if you don't have a scientific calculator with uh, so that you can see what you're typing. So, uh, but because I do, I'm just going to go ahead and type it in the most straightforward way. If you need to um, use the other methods, that's fine. But I'm just going to go ahead and type it in. And that gets us 2,091 dollars, which is going to be um, the loan's future value. So if you're the one loaning out the money, that's how much you'll get back after they've accrued the interest. If you're the one taking out the loan, well then that's how much you're going to have to pay after four months.